Greetings, everybody. We have been talking for several weeks about gathering around the table and what it looks like to gather around the table with some sort of intentionality about what we are going to talk about and what we're going to do once we get around the table besides eat. So I want to go one more step further in some of the things that we've been talking about. And let's talk about an action plan. Now, an action plan is when we decide as a family that there are some things that we want to do to help spread kindness around the rest of the world. And again, I'm going back to the website that I've referenced a couple of times. It's not the only resource out there, by the way. It just happens to be one that um, I get their blogs every week, so I read a lot from them. But anyway, um, it's called doinggoodtogether.org. And one of the things that they have is kind of an action planning worksheet. And just like I did last week, I'm going to put this into my newsletter so that if you want to make a hard copy of it or if you want to go back and reference it again, you can. But they have all of these things that would be very specific to any family and the things that you like to do anyway where you can um, layer those things and those activities with something that spreads some kindness and joy or compassion around to the rest of the world. So here are just some examples to get you started. Let's say perhaps that you are a family that really likes to draw and that likes art. So one of their suggestions would be to create a card making station somewhere in your house. So instead of plunking down and playing video games or plunking down and watching YouTube uh, videos. Maybe you take a couple of minutes and you say, I'm just going to make a few cards for somebody. And then those can get put in just a family pile. And then when something happens that somebody needs a little something to perk them up, you've already got some cards already created that you can pop in the mail. Another idea had to do with grocery shopping. And a lot of us grocery shop way more maybe than we even want to. What if you created a family practice that every time you went to the grocery store, for example, at Cub Foods, there's always bags that you can buy a pre-made kit of something that then would go to the food shelf. What if that's just a family practice that we budget every time we go to the grocery store that we're going to get one of those bags? Or what if one of the kids in the family is responsible for buying finding the best staples that you can find. And by staples, I mean things that can go on a food shelf and stay there for a while. The best deals you can find. So that then you have one spot, maybe it's a laundry basket or something that you keep in the house full of the things that you found really great deals on. And then you can take those to the food shelf. So those are just some really small ideas. Oh wait, I just saw one more. So another idea would be for those of us that love to be outside anyway, to have a little backpack of things for picking up litter. So maybe your backpack has some hand sanitizer in it, maybe some plastic gloves or some garden gloves and some extra bags. So that then as you're just walking around, you're at the park, you're hiking, you're doing the things that you would normally love to do anyway, you're also kind of watching for ways that you can help clean up the environment a little bit. Anyway, all of these things start with making a plan with your family, possibly at the dinner table. Let's pray. Dear God, we can have great intentions, but until we put a plan together so that our great ideas can become something that we can act upon, then they're just great ideas and they haven't really helped anything or anyone. Help us put our great ideas into action. In your name we pray. Amen. Have a super great week, everybody. We'll see you next time, okay? Bye-bye.